Welcome back. Till now we had created clean plate and track our sequence in 3D. So without wasting time, let's get started right away. So here I am in my comp and we had finished the tracking in the previous video. So now we have to export our 3D camera from here. We got so many options in the export section. So for now let's export camera from here. So here we got the camera and to go in the 3D view hit tab in the viewer, zoom out a little. Here the controllers are same as many 3D application got. If we hold alt and right click it will pan and if we hold alt plus middle mouse it will zoom in and out. Now double click on this camera to see our camera here. Our camera is placed in center of the grid uh, not as the real camera is in the sequence. So to define the x, y and z direction uh, double click on this camera tracker and now we can select the feature points to decide the axis and origin. Click on this point over here and right click and set it to origin. Now if you hit tab we can see this point is in the center of the grid. We have to define x, y and z direction. So let's select these two feature points over here. This is a z axis. So right click and set it to z direction. Now in the 3D view notice these these two yellow dots that are selected is set as a z axis. So similarly we have to set our x direction. So let's select these points and see if it is consistent throughout the sequence okay so it is visible so now right click while selecting both of them and click on set x same for y axis we can select these two points and set it to y axis now the camera is set perfectly now again go to the export section in the camera tracker and export camera double click on this camera node and hit tab in the viewer here you can see our camera is aligned properly as it should be and if i check the previous camera it was like this i hope now you understand the reason of defining the axis let's delete this camera this part is complete now now let's place the camera over here in our script and our clean plate is right here now let's import our projection setup nodes the main nodes for projecting are project 3D. The project 3D node projects an input image through a camera onto a 3D object. Then we need a card and a scanline render. And a frame hole too. So these are the main nodes for the projection setup. For projecting we have to frame hold the camera values where we created our clean plate. That is frame 100. Let's change the frame hold values to 100 and connect it to our camera. Now if I press 1 on the frame hold, we can see there is no camera animation in it. Now in the project 3D we have to attach this camera input to our frame hold and other one to our clean plate. Now for a card if you see right now it's placed in the center. We have to place this card over our window properly. We can manually place this card also but let me show you the proper method for card placement. We have a tool for that, hit tab and type model builder. Basic use of model builder is to create a geometry same as other 3D programs do. It also have advanced feature that you will be going to see in a minute. We have several input over here. Let's connect this cam to our camera and source to our input plate. Select this model builder and press 1 to view. Now we are in our 3D view right now. Our camera is locked and we are seeing through our camera. If I play you can notice our grid is attached to our plate. So by this method we can perfectly align our card over here. So let's create a card. So from the left side we can select this card option and in the viewer just click and drag over the window. Don't release the mouse button until the card is properly scaled. Now let's align the card to the window by dragging the corner vertices. Also we have the focus panel on the left side to align points more precisely. Now we have provided the camera information in our model builder so it will go with our camera motion. Now let's go to the last frame and adjust this card to align it properly. To get more precise card we can go in our camera dragon 
double click on this camera tracker and uh, let's export the lens distortion and undistortion our footage is having distortion so because of that our card is not placing properly so let's undistort the sequence by placing this undistort node before model builder we have to align this card again to its respective point in the first frame just check the card position and in the last frame correct the card position now it's better aligned uh, let's export the card from model builder click on this bake option to export this card let's drag this card here and connect to the project 3d here you can see our clean pit is projected on this card but now our card is small if i double click on this card we can see our pivot point is in the center so right now we can't scale card properly so now let's fix this quickly select this vertex mode from here to select the vertices of our card we are going to transfer these coordinate to another card so let's open this properties of this card also so we can see both of the properties and the model at the same time select all the vertices again and in the properties tab select this axis icon over here in there we have the three options just select the last ones now we got the card over here and the pivot point also so now we can easily scale it up and down as per our need let's connect this card to see your projection on this card and disable this previous card now we can scale up this card in our x and y axis so let's increase the size see it's looking much better now now let's connect this obj input to our card and the camera input directly to the camera click one on this scanline render and hit tab to get out of the 3d view so now let's get it connected with our input plate take a merge node and connect a to our scanline render and b to this input plate I almost forget to connect the undistort and distort node in our comb. Before project 3D, we have to place our undistort node as we placed before our model builder and distort node after the scanline render. So by this we are reverting back the distortion in our clean plate. Now almost we are finished right now. We have to grade our clean plate. So let's quickly take a grade node and connect it after frame hold. Go to frame 100 and place a key on white point. And after that go to the first frame and adjust the grade values. And same in the end. So now it's done. The only part is left is to add the grain over it. Now let's duplicate our footage or take a postage stamp node to duplicate the input. It will also not make our comp heavy too. Drag this postage stamp node down and import a free grain node. In the previous video, I already explained the free grain node. So let's connect this first. Connect this grain to our input plate and also add frame hold to remember the reference frame. And connect this source to the final merge. Now drag this bonding box to the darker region over here and click on analyze. Right now grains are affecting all over the input plate. So we are going to use keymix node to only apply grains on our clean plate area. Take a keymix node and connect A to FD grain and B to the input plate. It is similar to merge with the mask option. And for mask we can connect it to this lens distortion node or with our final merge. In this case grains intensity are very low but if grains will be heavy the mask input should always have the hard alpha as the grains will become soft on edges if our alpha is soft. For that let's add the grade node in our mask pipe and turn this channel to alpha and decrease this white one so we get the hard alpha. So that's it guys this was a long tutorial thanks for being till here i hope this tutorial series have been informative for you 
so guys subscribe to my channel and like this video for future content see you soon